Hey, welcome back. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Well, let's try this for the third time. All right. We're doing episode eight of season two. Let's do it. Inform her that she's to bring 500 men to Winterfell. The fist of the first men. Thousands of years ago, the first men stood here. They came here to get away from something. And I don't think it worked. You let a half wit escape with a cripple. And we're on too, the little one. Gone. Along with a wildling woman. Should have took me while you had the chance. If you think about it, she he was having her lead him. Mm-hmm. He was just holding the rope. She was leaving. And she led him right to the trap. You have my dragons. I will take you to the house of the undying. I told you what would happen if you served me loyally. Whether your new lord means what he says. That way. And it most definitely got across the sea. Ignored you. Envy isn't attractive. Not envy. You should be proud of your brother's achievement. I took the great castle of Winterfell with 20 men. You're a great warrior. Which one gave you the tougher fight, the cripple or the six year old? I treated Wait. the Stark boys with honor, and they repaid me with treachery. You treated them with honor by butchering them. You seized them. their home, as is your right. We're ironborn, we take what we need. Mm. When you made them prisoners in their home and they ran away, is that treachery? I'd call it bravery. So she was like, they ran away like a mutant. Exactly. Because he's a dumb. Northerners would think me weak. You are weak. <laughs> and you're stupid. I'm warning you. What you gonna do? Go on then. Warn me. <laughs> you better listen. <laughs> How am I supposed to defend Winterfell with just this lot? You're not. I've come to bring you home. Is this a joke? Winterfell is the heart of the North. Hundreds of miles from the sea. We're islanders, baby brother. Had you forgotten that? Our power comes from our ships. And now that you've decorated your walls with the bodies of the Stark boys, every man in the North wants to see you hanged. I've taken Winterfell. Mm. So you little wimp. <laughs> you a coward, so you don't want to. Theon, you're my blood. Come home with me. Don't die here alone. I don't intend to die. <laughs> You were a terrible baby, do you know that? Mm. Bawling all the time, never sleeping. And one night you just wouldn't shut up. <laughs> Screaming like a dying pig. Must be colicky. I wanted to strangle you. And you looked up at me and you stopped screaming. Don't die so far from the sea. <laughs> I need a prisoner. You? I brought you a present, Lord of Bones. Mance will want to question this one. Knows all about where the crows are and what they're planning. I have had no more. Is that the one? The huh? one that left him? Yeah. Got him. But well, he's the bastard of Winterfell, Ned Stark's son. Hmm. Mance will want him. What does Mance want with a dead man's bastard? How well, do they know he's dead? The crows. I mean, apparently they know. How the wildlings know Ned's dead? Apparently, news yeah. travels. I guess so. That's why I say the ravens, you kind of be... People, they probably just laying and somebody see something on there. Look at it, you know, put it back in. <laughs> It ain't for me, you know? We're even now, Jon Snow. I told you to kill a girl. Couldn't do it. I noticed. I know. When you didn't come back, we weren't looking for you. But they found us before we found you. It died because of me. See that it wasn't for nothing. Just, you're not meant for the wall. Because everybody seemed to be getting in trouble because of you. <laughs> I mean, He's young. He whatever. <laughs> Even young people know how to follow rules. <laughs> really? They do. And you're marrying her for a bridge. An important bridge. Yeah. Before they killed my father, I still thought I could march south and rescue him in time. But only if I crossed that bridge. You only came with four people? He once told me that being a lord is like being a father. Except you have thousands of children. And you worry about all of them. He told me he woke with fear in the morning. And went to bed with fear in the night. I asked him, how can a man be brave if he's afraid? And that is the only time a man can be brave, he told me. Most lords worry more about their gold and their glory than the charwoman scrubbing their doors. He didn't care much about gold or glory. 
And you? You think I'm fighting this war so they'll sing songs about me? I want to go home. I want the men following me to go home. And why don't you? Because we'll never be safe until the Lannisters are defeated. And because I believe in justice. Chopping off Joffrey's head, you mean? That would be a start. I know that's real. You start. Your Grace, the Kingslayer, he escaped in the night. How? How? Your mama. Tell me this isn't true. Why? For the girls. You knew I would not allow it, and you did it anyway. He would have been dead by the morning. Jamie Lannister has played you for a fool. You've weakened our position. You brought discord into our camp. Hmm. Make sure she's guarded day and night. Rob. How many men did we send in pursuit of the Kingslayer? Forty, Your Grace. Send another forty. With our fastest horses. <laughs> there you go, acting out of emotions again. You're much happier in daylight. What's your name? I'm Jamie Lannister of Castle Rock. A captive knight has a right to know his captor's identity. Brienne of Tarth. It's a long way to King's Landing. Might as well get to know one another. Has anyone ever told you you're as boring as you are ugly? <laughs> You think you could beat me in a fair fight? I've never seen you fight. The answer is no. All my life, men like you've sneered at me. And all my life, I've been knocking men like you into the dust. If you're so confident, unlock my chains. Let's see what happens. Do you take me for an idiot? <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe one day we'll find out, Kingslayer. King's Landing will fall an hour after Stannis lands his force. It's not too late for King Joffrey and Cersei and the court to ride west to safety. Surrender the Iron Throne. Better than seeing their heads mounted on the city gates. No, a king who runs will not be king for long. <laughs> Stannis, two days from the capital, and a wolf at my doorstep. Too close to Casterly Rock. He sent a splinter force to recapture Winterfell. The Greyjoys have done us a great favor. Stark won't risk marching on Casterly Rock until he's at full force. He's a boy and he's never lost a battle. He'll risk anything at any time because he doesn't know enough to be afraid. We'll ride at nightfall. I want a full night's march before he knows we're on the move. The girl's proven herself a good servant. She'll stay on with you. Look, it's Yoren's little cunt. He used to be a boy, now it's a girl. Where's Jacken? Don't care. You need sour cherries to make it right. And the secret is, you dry the stones, and you break them with a mallet. That's where the real flavour is. You crush them up real fine, and then when you're finished, you sprinkle them over the pie crust. Where's Zachin? How would I know? I need him now. You need him. He's helping me. I saw him. Where? Oh. Where? They were rushing out the gates a few hours ago. On patrol. Check out my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Where she wanted to get him? Probably. One brother inside his army be worth a thousand fighting against it. They'll never trust me. They might. If you do what needs to be done. No, I'm better. Trusting a traitor's bastard! <laughs> it's not yours to kill, Crow. <laughs> do you have to do that here? <laughs> I like to keep my hands clean. You should start wearing the gold cloak. I don't want to wear a gold cloak. You're commander of the city watch. We had a deal. And wearing a gold cloak wasn't part of it. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? <laughs> you don't want me cleaning my nails? You don't want me looking your way? Why am I here? To help me plan the defense of King's Landing. <laughs> and one of these explains how to beat him. An history of the great seizures of Westeros by Archmaster Sh Shevelethen. Shevelethesh. Kshvaltish. My Lord Hand. Right, huh? I must compliment you on the gold cloak's performance these last few weeks. Did you know there has been a marked drop in thievery? And how did you accomplish this marked drop in thievery? Me and the lads rounded up all the known thieves. <laughs> you see his <laughs> face? Aye, we talked about it. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> see, it's not the fighting that kills most people. It's the starving. Food's worth more than gold. The thieves, they love a siege. Soon as the gates are sealed, they steal all the food. By the time it's all over, they're the richest men in town. Ah, the great sieges of Westeros. Shame Archmaster Shavayothan wasn't a better writer. Stannis knows King's Landing. He knows where the walls are strongest, and he knows which gates are weakest. Mudgate. Good ram will batter it down in minutes, and it's only 50 yards from the water. That's where he'll land. 
And if Stannis does attack the Mud Gate, what is our plan? We could throw books at his men. We don't have that many books. <laughs> what do we have? Pig shit. What? Pig shit. Well, I heard. <laughs> Wildfire. No. I'm not cut out for this sort of work. Where do you think John is right now? He went off with a half hand. He didn't come back. A betting man would go with dead. He's not dead. <laughs> John's a great fighter. He's got his Valyrian steel sword. So did his father. And Corin Halfhand's the greatest ranger alive. Great mm. rangers never get old, is the problem. Shit ones neither. Same in the middle. Lost a long time. What in seven hours is that? Mm. So the first men made these marks. Help me with it. Help me, Willie. He ain't no <laughs> He did all the way. You didn't. What did you do, Sam? Stand there and watch. That's a Night's Watch cloak. It's been here a long time. Hmm. Must be dragon glass. Dragon glass. The master's called it obsidian. Why would a brother hide it here? Expect it's because he wanted somebody to find it. Mind where you're going. You didn't see how whatever was that, man. You mind where you going. <laughs> where were you? A man has patrol duty. Tywin Lannister was right here, and now he's gone. A girl owes one more name. The Red God demands it. Give the man a name. How long after I give you the name does it take you to kill someone? A minute, an hour, a month. Death is certain. The time is not. Give a name, any name. And you kill them, anybody. By the seven new gods and the old gods beyond counting, I swear it. All right. Jack and Hagar. Who was that? Him? Hagar gives a man his own name. That's right. Gods are not mocked. This is no joking thing. I'm not joking. Man can go kill himself. And name me. No. Please. <laughs> I'll unname you. Thank you. If you help me and my friends escape. This would require more than one life. This is not part of our bargain. Fine. Jack and Hagar. <laughs> a girl lacks honor. <laughs> if I do this thing, a girl must obey. A girl will obey. A girl and her friends will walk through the gate at midnight. Hmm. Thank you, Patrick. I see a new hand in there. Odd little boy. Yes, Tyrion's. I hear Joffrey plans on fighting. An inspiration for the troops. Some men have a gift for this sort of thing. Some don't. His place is not on the battlefield. Hmm. Sadly for all of us. Are you laughing? Mm, he's holding it in. Hmm. He'll have his king's guard protecting him. He has the finest armor gold can buy. He needs to be out there. Do you know why Varys is so dangerous? Because he has thousands of spies in his employ. Because he doesn't have a cock. Neither do you. Perhaps I'm dangerous too. You, on the other hand, are as big a fool as every other man. That little worm between your legs does half your thinking. Why are you smiling? Because I'm happy. Why are you happy? Because I have your little whore. Hmm. How did I think? Tell me, have you married this one yet? Why do you care who I fuck? Because a Lannister always pays her debts. Where did you find her? Really, a Lannister lion necklace. You've forgotten the most important thing about whores. You don't buy them, you only rent them. You're usually a better liar, baby brother. Hmm. This one you like. Don't worry, she'll be treated gently enough. Unless Joffrey is hurt. And then every wound he suffers, she'll suffer too. And if he dies, there isn't a man alive who could devise a more painful death for your little cunt. Ooh. And how do I know you haven't killed her already? Sir Mandon, bring in my brother's whore. Oh, no, I cannot believe this. Oh, my God. Uh oh. That's not the right one. I'm sorry they hurt you. I promise I will free you. Don't forget me. Mm-hmm. Look at her. She ain't the right one, Heifer. She thinks she knows. I'll hurt you for this. The day will come when you think you're safe and happy and your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth. Hmm. And you'll know the debt is paid. Get out. Shame! I've been waiting all night. What is wrong? So who gave her the Lannister thing? He probably did. Who knows? That's the one he was messing with up in Winterfell. Winterfell. 
Oh. In the first episode, and then she went down to King's Landing. That's the one that oh, okay. left King's Landing. Yeah. On the turnip cart. I would kill for you. Do you know that? I I expect I'll have to before this is over. You're mine. How are you gonna kill for her and he get knocked out? <laughs> you ain't never gonna let that go, are no, you? No, I was right. And she thought the unit. He thought the unit had told her. Mm -hmm. We've sent a dozen ravens. None have returned. Theon has my brothers if we storm the castle. He wouldn't dare hurt the boys. Well, little do y'all know. Send word to your son. Any ironborn who surrender will be allowed to return safely to their homes. No, they won't. Any ironborn with the exception of Theon Greyjoy, we will hunt him down no matter where he runs. Your pardon, my lord. Your grace. My lady. He is a bust up in the tents now, huh? Focus. See, if he wasn't not, if he was, wasn't was focused on her, he still had Jamie. I'm just saying. It was a stupid question. I'm sorry. <laughs> she pretty much said, I don't want to hear all that. <laughs> That's not the kind of king I want to be. What kind do you want to be? I don't know. The good kind? I don't know. No such thing. <laughs> How did you go from reciting Valerian poetry to sawing off men's feet? When I was 12, my mother and father went to a wedding and they left me with my little brother. The second afternoon they were gone was the hottest day in the three-year summer. So we ran down to the Vroin. I was treading water, talking to a friend, when I realized I hadn't seen my brother. And then I saw him floating face down. Dragged him from the water and we pulled him onto the riverbank and he was dead. A man ran up and he pushed me out of the way and he started pressing on my brother's chest until my brother spat out half of the roid and cried out and the man cradled his head and told him to be calm. Oh, yeah. CPR back there? Because <laughs> I was about to say, you should do a CPR, girl. I decided two things that day. I would not waste my years planning dances and masquerades with the other noble ladies and... When I came of age, I would never live in a slave city again. I don't want to marry the Frey girl. Oh, my God. What did you say? I don't want to marry the Frey girl. I don't want you to marry her. But you needed that bridge. I hope it's a very beautiful bridge. Oh, my God. So now you're going back on your word because you, you're not focused. <laughs> and in that tent, open wide open. Oh, Lord. <laughs> he gonna end up being killed because he saw her back way with that girl. Probably in the pie crust by now. In the oven. I'm not talking about food, man. What did he want us to do about those guards? He didn't say. He just said walk through the gates. We have to trust him. Trust him. Stay here if you're afraid. Harry, don't. Oh, God. It did, I read. Mm-hmm. Die. Away! Reset! This is Stannis. Mm -hmm. I see it get pretty dark, too. No, uh -huh. I see it pretty dark. I'm just saying for us going on the cruises, it'd be like, dang, sitting out there on the It'd be dark as hell. I understand why the older families look down at me. Do you? Why? My father was a crabber. And? Mm -hmm. and where were those laws when Storm's End starved? First we ate the horses, then the rats, and then you made it through the lines. Slipped right through in your little black sail boat with your onions. And potatoes. Some salt and beef, I believe. Every man on Storm's End wanted to kiss <laughs> you that night. I was relieved they did not. <laughs> but now I'm the rightful king by every law of Westeros. And when I sit the Iron Throne, you'll be my hand. Your Grace. I pray I serve you well. I expect you'd be the first crabber's son to wear the badge. <laughs> I have many little birds in the north, my lord, but I haven't heard their songs since Theon Greyjoy captured Winterfell. The Stark forces are distracted. Now is the time to strike. My dear nephew, you do see these men preparing the walls for siege. 
If my uncle Sanus lands on the shores of King's Landing, I'll ride out to greet him. A brave choice, Your Grace. They say Stannis never smiles. I'll give him a red smile from ear to ear. What are you gonna do? Cry in front of him and smile laughing at you? Imagine Stannis's terror. You're an intelligent man. I'd like to think I'm an intelligent man. No, oh, no one disputes that, my lord. Not even the multitudes who despise you. <laughs> so when my father named me Acting Hand... You're quite good at being Hand, you know. John Aaron and Ned Stark were good men. Honorable men. But they disdained the game and those who played. You enjoy the game. I do. Last thing I expected. Hmm. And you play it well. I'd like to keep playing it. If Stannis breaches the gates, the game is over. The Lord of Light wants his enemies burnt. The Drowned God wants them drowned. Why are all the gods such vicious cunts? <laughs> Where is the god of tits and wine? <laughs> This morning, I heard a song. Daenerys Targaryen lives. She has three dragons. <laughs> One game at a time, my friend. Well, that's real. For real. One person at a time. Because everybody coming for y'all. Everybody coming for them. You got dumbass Joffrey thinking he's running shit. I found one. A ship with a good captain. We cannot stay here. They have my dragons. Mother does not flee without her children. Bye. I'll be like, deuces, girl. Bye. If my dragons are in the house of the Undying, then take me there. That's what the warlock wants. His magic is strong. And what of my magic? Take me to them. That is good. Why do I gotta show that? I mean... We should bury them. I'd leave them up a few more days. Sends a message. We haven't got the damn message yet. A few more days won't help. His troubles are done. He's feeding the crops now. His wife too. Mm. You want to keep a man silent, you silence him. Wait, wait, that's the girl that was with them, right? Mm-hmm. And then double back. Walk through the stream to throw off the hounds. Hope this would be the last place they'd think to look. You're right. <sighs> so far. Who was that out there? Hung up at the gates. Must have been the farmers, boys. Killed them, burned them. Mm. And passed them off as little lots. They mustn't know. They'll never hear it from me. Mm. The little lads have suffered enough. We're going to hear it now? Wow. But they're alive! They're little sneaky little... Theon. Yeah. yeah he, see, somebody need to kill him. That's why the sister don't give him no no props. <laughs> they mess everything up. He can't do nothing right. Wow. So you just gonna kill the make him and she couldn't find him. Yeah. You're too to lazy to keep look, on look yeah. big and bad. You know, in front of the people. Yeah, people find out they they alive, they're gonna overtake you. You you and your twenty men. Well, let's well, say they less than 19. 19. Because the one that got throat slit. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And then the guy, which the guy who uh, he punched in the face, they ain't too happy with him right now either. <laughs> they, probably, they probably say, hey, you come get him. We, we, we good. We good. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. So we got Stannis. Yeah, he's on his Two way. days away. Two days away. King's, King's Landing. Landing. Right? And we have yeah. Daenerys, her and her dragons. I mean, like. Trying to get her dragons back. I and then you tell me to go. Bye, deuces. See, tell one dude you got right there, because it's only two of y'all. <laughs> plus her. Yeah. I mean, look at it. It's only two of them, plus her. So you go ahead. Go, go, deuces. Let me go get the ship. Let me go. Let me go on back to my, my town that you've been wanting to go to anyway. You got Rob fucking doing stupid shit. Unfocused. Unfocused. I, I just got a feeling he going to end up because he's so infatuated with that woman. Now he's going to start losing battles because he his brain 
He think it with the other half of his brain. That's what it starts to say. You know, the, you know, you gotta. Half your decisions with that little worm between and your then legs. His, 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 <laughs> <laughs> then his mother, he holding his mother as prisoner now, which I get it. I get that. Yeah. I, I do get that. She, I'm thinking of my daughters. They ain't thinking about you, trust me. They ain't thinking about you. So, um, I, 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 this is, what episode is this? Eight? Eight, yeah. So we got two more? Two more for season two, yeah. Look, he's looking there, because usually the last two are like, what? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Hit the like and the su subscribe button. And as always, leave your comments. Until next time. Bye-bye.